What's up guys, we're back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the SRM 9211 pocket knife. So this knife is a folder that is a crossbar lock, so I picked this up for around $20. Um, stay ready for more SRM knives and tools. Let's see what we have in here. Comes in the sleeve, has... Um, stuff uh service warranty and, you know all that fun stuff a silica thingy and here's a knife it comes in a sleeve that like my buck or a bench mate or something like that comes in very light knife like i said i picked it up for 20 dollars plus tax i think it was like 21 something um this is 8cr 13 mov steel crossbar lock Pretty much deep carry pocket clip. And this is a great knife for the money. Oh, and then it has that disc opener. Disc stud. It's like a Tonto style blade, I think. I'm not big on that. ATR 13 MOV. Right there. 9211 G1 model. You can pick these up on like Knife Center for $19, $19.20. Crossbar lock is actually very smooth for the money. It feels just like my bug out. No, I'm joking. The bug out's a lot smoother. Smoother. It's, this isn't too, too far behind now. No, the bug out's using an access lock too. But this is pretty darn close so it's like a banana kind of I don't know I don't know how else to explain it like a banana or a AR mag or something like that it has I think it's G10 I don't know if it says I'm sure it's G10 it feels like G10 I know this is G10. It's making the same noise. Whether that has to do anything or not, I don't know. But is this knife worth that $20? Yes. Would I carry this knife? Yes. Um, if you're a person who's scrolling on YouTube looking for a pocket knife to buy, and you don't want to spend $40, and you only want to spend around $20, this is the knife to buy, I think. Or any SR, well, this is the cheapest SRM that I saw. I was going to pay $50 for one, I'm like, eh, I don't know. China made is where it is. It's China. But for a China knife, there's no play in it. I think my bug out has play. My bug out has play in it. Um, I don't know if my grippy has play in it or not. By grippy, I mean griptilian. That has a tiny bit of play. This, no play up and down. Eh. Never mind, I lied. There's a little play side to side. Not up and down, though. There's a lot more play in my bug out than this. So... Very smooth knife. Edge retention, I I don't know. It's going to be easy to sharpen, I'd imagine. I've never sharpened a Tonto, though. And this is my um, uh, OTF I got. Same style. Yeah. Let's get some size comparisons. Bug out. Grippy. Um, I'll do my master cutlery medium switchblade. Oh, what else do I have on me? Buck deploy. That's actually kind of similar. 
do a 110. Kind of close in size. What are the 346 Vantage? SRM's a lot bigger. This one's going to be extremely bigger. The SOG Twitch 2. Yeah. On camera, it doesn't really show. Um, we'll do the 112. And then we'll throw in uh, oh, I forgot the name of this Kershaw. This one. I know what it is. I thought I forgot it. I made a video on it. Oh, what's that one called? I forget what it's called, but this is another knife in that $20 range. That This would be a better knife to buy. It's Kershaw. If only I could remember what it was. This is another couple Kershaws I want to throw in and compare. So we're going to do the leak first. Yeah, definitely a bigger difference. So that's the Kershaw leak. And then I'm going to Kershaw link. Yeah, there's still a difference there. And then we'll throw in... How about a Micra? You guys probably don't even know that I have this. But I do. I'm going to go to the Leatherman Micra. Just a very slim difference there. That's the Micra, and then we'll do... This is actually my first knife. The Victorinox Classic. This is my first ever pocket knife. Yeah, there's a little bit of a difference there. Not much. Uh, and then we'll do one more. We'll do the hook extract. Yeah, there's a difference. Now, legal, where you live, I don't know. Um, uh... I'm gonna try to measure this here. I'm sorry guys, this is not the best. It is under a four inch blade. Heck, we can start it. I think. Guys, comment down below if you know. Is it where the blade edge stops? I'd imagine it's the whole blade, and the whole blade goes back to there. If it goes all the way back to there, it's not legal. If it's just to the end of the handle, though, it's legal. I know you guys can't see it. I promise it's that way, though. Um, I'll have to get online and look. I don't, no, there's no spec sheet with it. Um, that is the SRM, uh, I wrote it down, 9211 pocket knife. And even if you're into Benchmades or something, you just want something for, you know, you don't want to tear up the blade on your Benchmade or Hogue or Microtech or whatever you're using. And you want something like this. Or if you want a knife to carry around that you could trust, I mean, it's a crossbar lock. It's one of the strongest locks. One of, not the strongest. Um, and, you know, it'll teach you how to sharpen. If you can't sharpen it, just keep learning and trying on this $20 knife instead of a $100 knife or 60 or, you know, whatever. Um, HCR is easy to sharpen compared to what I've used. 
which I think I might do a sharpening video one of these times. I might do it on this knife, actually. I'll, I'll find a knife that needs sharpened. I always hate sharpening something. Well, I've never sharpened this knife. I've sharpened this knife and I got it. I got it sharp. As you can see, I mean, it was dull. I think I sharpened my Griptilian too. Yeah, I got that sharp. I know I've sharpened my Mannix too, my Spyderco. And that is one of the easiest steels to sharpen. Now, Spyderco is also are easy to sharpen because of what they do on their blade style. But anyway, that is the SRM. This is my first SRM knife, actually. Um, 8CR13 MOV steel. Easy to sharpen. Um, disc stud on top. Crossbar lock again. Would I recommend this knife? Yes, obviously. But that is unfortunately going to be the end of the video. And if you guys do have any questions, do comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.